There's no shame in feeling down at all. There's none. There's none. Tomorrow you might feel great. So just it's just temporary. You've got to get your head out of that space and make sure you tell people how you feel. Mental health's quite important. You mentioned it there as well. Like you're a young man. You see, especially during the pandemic, a lot of young men suffering, you know, with their mental health. Yeah. And it's a great thing as well, but how openly people are talking about it now. You remember like even I think growing up, when you were growing up or I was growing up as a kid, to talk about a man struggling mentally. Yeah, it was unheard and, you know, of. Wanting to, of course it was. It would be soft. You couldn't even say it, to be honest with you, could you? There's no way. Imagine me in the hood telling my mates, yeah, I feel a bit down today, bro. I say, what's wrong with you, bro? Man up. You get me? Yeah, but obviously it is important, though. It is important. And I feel like people like me and you, me and you specifically, people look at us. If we're saying, yeah, it's important to care about your mental health, that means a lot to the kids. You know what I'm saying? That means a lot because where I'm from and the profession you work in is definitely very tough. So if we can speak about it, anyone can speak about it. And I think for me, it's just about telling people, you know, if you feel down, have a chat to someone, give your head a wobble, try and feel better. And if you have something that you need to speak about, you want to get off your chest, you're not the only person feeling like that. Loads of people do. Even if they don't tell you, they do. So man, woman, kid, you know, older person, doesn't matter. Everyone feels down sometimes. You just need to speak about it and try and feel better, man. And there's no shame in feeling down at all. There's none. There's none. Tomorrow you might feel great. So just it's just temporary. You've got to get your head out of that space and make sure you tell people how you feel. And I really strongly believe in that. That's important, man. I always try and advocate for that. The other day, I was in my car, I was with my mate, and I was off to have some dinner. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to the West End and get some dinner. But I was in a bit of a mood. I was like, oh, my car's acting up. Like, oh, blah, 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 everything. That, you know, just feeling sorry for myself. Bear in mind, I drive quite a nice car, yeah? Not to show off or anything, but I shouldn't feel any way about my car because it's a great car. I was just being moody for no reason. I'm sitting in traffic, and I've looked across the window and I see a large group of guys and I've noticed that it's Andy Joshua, it's AJ, yeah? So I'm, I'm put my hand out the window. I'm like, oh, well, go on, bro, you good? He's like, yeah, you good, da, da, da. And this bus is in between me and AJ, yeah? <laughs> and it's just scraped all along the side of my car and everyone heard it down oh. the road. It totaled the side of my car, yeah? Big red paint scratch. And I jumped out of the car and I was going to be angry and I don't know why, I just laughed. I was like, this is my fault. I came out of the house in a bad mood, complaining about my car. This is what you get. This is what happens. And then I said to the driver, I was like, mate, let me get your details, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he just froze up midway. And I'm like, bro, can I get your details? And he's like, bro, is that Anthony Joshua? And I'm like, fam, you just, <laughs> you just wrecked my car. I beg of you, give me your, de give me your details. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm AJ Tracy as well. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Literally, I'm AJ as well. Like, give me some, some love, innit? But yeah, no, it's funny because AJ come over, he's like, you're right, bro. That's crazy. I said, bro, you had so much space. I don't know why he done that. But I think secretly he was looking out the window. He was distracted. He saw us like waving at each other. He's like, "What's going on here?" Like, <laughs> but when you leave your house, that's just the same. When you leave your house, don't be in a bad mood, man. Everything's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's life is good. Be happy that you're alive. You're breathing. You got things to look forward to. You got a family. Whatever it is, be happy and just be grateful for the things you do have, rather than looking at the things you don't have and, and craving after them. That's what I believe, man. BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts.